This is the SpaghettiOs demonstration for sulfur. Elemental sulfur is most stable in the S8 allotrope form. So that's a, a ring of eight sulfur atoms covalently bonded together. And in this form, they kind of look like pasta rings, SpaghettiOs. When you open up a can of SpaghettiOs, before you heat it up on the stove, it's a, it's a clump. Same thing with my sulfur atoms. When they're in this ring form, they're kind of clumped together, not flowing past each other, just like cold SpaghettiOs don't flow past each other. But if you start to heat them up, you can get the sulfur to go into the liquid state. You'll have the rings able to flow past each other. You'll have a, a liquid that's even less viscous than water. Continue to heat it though and you'll break some of those bonds and get the sulfur to form into another allotrope of sulfur. Sometimes chains as long as 100,000 sulfurs. So 100,000 sulfur atoms linked together. This is a long chain, kind of like a polymer, and they can get very tangled up. You'll still have a liquid, but the liquid will not flow very easily. Continue to, uh, to heat the sulfur, and you'll actually break those bonds up, and it's kind of like taking spaghetti strands and cutting them up. You'll have a black, easy flowing liquid again. And what we're gonna do once we create that liquid, once we have changed the sulfur to black sulfur, we're gonna super cool it by placing it inside of this water. The aluminum foil's in there just so we, it can catch the sulfur and I won't have a huge mess inside of my beaker. So I've got a water, uh, amount of water in there along with some aluminum. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start heating our sulfur using our Bunsen burner. You can already see some of the red sulfur allotrope being made here. Here's our very viscous red sulfur, which cannot be poured out of the test tube. Continue heating until it starts to boil. We'll have black sulfur. Ooh, there it is, definitely boiling. Got black sulfur. Now we're going to super cool it. quite good enough. Eat the rest of it some more. Here's our black sulfur, and you can see that it's been super cooled. So it's a solid again, but it was not allowed to form the nice yellow ring structure. Instead, this is like a plastic version of sulfur. 